Hello and welcome back to another edition of Brittany Watches TikTok so I don't have to and today I am bringing in some of the best, most mind-blowing cleaning tips that I learned from professionals because there are quite a few professional cleaners and housekeepers who are blowing up over on TikTok and they have the best tips in my opinion because this is what they do for a living. They know what works, they know what's good, so I'm sharing with you the best of the best. I'm doing another giveaway starting today. All you have to do is share this video. There's a share button down below. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, email, and then leave a comment down below letting me know where you shared it and I'm going to pick somebody one week from today to give a $300 Amazon gift card. So with all of that said, let's get into these cleaning tips. The first is using a Swiffer to clean your mirrors and glass to get it done faster, more efficiently, and apparently better. So instead of using your Swiffer pad, put your glass cleaning cloth, and I would say to use a specialized glass cleaning cloth over a microfiber cloth. They do not leave lint or streaks. It is a huge difference. Spray your mirror down and use that to clean it. There's a lot less reaching involved. You can clean it faster. I mean, really, for me, this is a game changer. Multiple professional cleaners I follow on TikTok swear by this particular glass cleaner. It's a foam style and I will say it does work amazingly well. Now, while we're on the topic of the Swiffer, one of my tips is there is a way to open and refill the Swiffer cleaning solution bottle with your own cleaner of choice. I don't personally love the Swiffer solution. I hate how it smells. I don't think it works that great. So all you have to do, get boiling water and submerge the lid in boiling water for good like two minutes or so to loosen it up. Then you can open the cap. There are these little plastic tabs that are used to keep it locked in place. What you wanna do is take a nail clipper and clip those off. So now you can open and close your cleaning bottle and you can add your own cleaner in there. Day has finally come. I feel like we're, we're close now, so it's happening. We're stripping. Ryan, get on in here. We're stripping, it's time to strip. And by strip, I mean laundry stripping. Have you heard of this? It is going viral over on TikTok, where basically it is a deeper clean of your laundry to really get everything out. Hard water buildup, soap buildup, dirt, odors, things that you're just not fully cleaning out in the washing machine. And I have never actually tried this before, so this is gonna be an experiment. So what you wanna do here is you want to fill your bathtub up with hot water, piping hot water. Then you want to add to that a quarter cup of borax, a quarter cup of baking soda, and a heaping scoop of powdered Tide. They are very adamant to use this powdered Tide, so we're going with it. Then you wanna put in your items that you are deep cleaning. So what I'm putting in here are Ryan's gym clothes. They have caked in sweat and who knows what else. They never have quite smelled the same, so let's see if we can strip them down. So let's see how dirty these babies really are. You wanna get a sturdy spoon and kind of stir them up. Let them sit in the solution for a good four to six hours and every hour or so stir it up just to keep it moving. So after a good four to six hours, you can look at the water and see the color changing, see what's really come out of the clothes. I mean, they have the time to soak and get everything in there out. And then once you do that, you just wanna wring out the clothes and wash them in your regular washing machine as normal. Then you are left with your deep clean, fully stripped down, good as new item. Now this next one is by far the most viral cleaning tip that I've ever seen on TikTok to the tune of 50 million views. There is this specialty wall cleaning brush. Yes, you heard that right, wall cleaning brush. There is a housekeeper who says she uses this, she swears by it, it is the best cleaning tool ever, so I had to try it for myself. I got it from Amazon, and there is a specialty spray that goes with it. It is a wall cleaning spray. This brush has a swivel to it, so it makes it really easy to glide up and down your painted walls, your doors. I don't know if you could see how dirty this wall is. It's a very narrow walkway, so the kids have got their fingerprints all over it. Oh my goodness. That works so well, it almost just like erased it. Oh my goodness. Do you see how well that worked? And you are supposed to use the specialty cleaning solution that comes with it. 
I feel like there are a million different methods out there for cleaning your garbage disposal, but apparently the easiest and most effective of all time is this. So what you wanna do is put a good amount of baking soda in your garbage disposal. She says two cups, let that sit for a little bit and then pour in some distilled white vinegar, let it sizzle up. And then the finishing touch, you wanna get a full pot of boiling hot water and dump that down the sink. So the best part about this method is that the sink essentially cleans itself. And this woman says she has tried every method. This is the best, most effective. If you have any pillows in your house and the pillowcase is too big for the pillow, don't leave it flopping and hanging like this. So this is how you're supposed to do it. You take that overhang, you pinch the middle, and you tuck it into the pillow. Then you take your hands and you kind of smooth it out so it looks nice and crisp. That pillowcase looks like it fits perfectly and it looks so much nicer. So no more floppy pillow overhang. One big thing that the professionals do that we may not do on our own is that little finishing touch, the added sparkle and polishing of items around your house. And an easy way to do this is by using your glass cleaner on your knobs, on your stainless steel. So once you've actually cleaned the item, you can go back and polish it using a glass cleaner and it will give it that extra little sparkle, glean, glisten, and look that much nicer and cleaner. And I also love the added touch of taking your toilet paper roll, folding it into a point, and then turning on your faucet, turning it off, and then stamping the toilet paper roll into that and it gives a nice little emblem. It's just that added touch, I would say, especially for your guest bathroom or for extra toilet paper rolls if you have them out on display. This is a simple yet amazing, most effective method for cleaning your eyeshadow palettes because they can get really dirty. Some of the fallout from the eyeshadows looks messy. So the easiest way to clean this is so effective is to get another little compact. So this is my blush compact. Wrap it up in a baby wipe or a makeup wipe and then use that as essentially like an eraser on your eyeshadow palette. It will clean up all of the fallout. Definitely the easiest method to do this. You don't have to go all around it individually. It just erases right off. A great way to save time is to wash as much as possible on the top rack of your dishwasher. This could be things like your toothbrush holder, some of your children's toys, your dish brushes. Get the maximum use out of that dishwasher. Save yourself the scrubbing time and washing time and let your dishwasher do the work for you. One housekeeper, her name is Desi Hacks. She says the best way to clean the grill on your stovetop, which can be really tough to clean because stuff gets stuck on it, caked on there, is to use a mixture of vegetable oil and kosher salt as the abrasive and scrub it that way. And not only will it get everything off, but they'll be nice and shiny and look like new again. Next one, this housekeeper I follow swears by using this toilet bowl cleaner by scrubbing bubbles. She said it is the absolute best product on the market for cleaning grout in your bathroom. She says the key is to put it on your grout and let it sit there and soak for a while and then clean it off and your grout will sparkle, shine, look nice and bright again. All right, here's my feedback after trying this. I would say it definitely lightened the grout. However, it's still stained, so the best thing you can use to really brighten up your grout is this grout pen, which I've talked about many times. You just draw it on your grout lines, wipe off the excess, and it will be perfectly white again. Now, the pros say we don't want to just be haphazardly cleaning the house. There is a strategy, there is a plan involved to maximize efficiency. And that is as follows. You want to clean from top to bottom always. That is because as you're cleaning high up, the dust, debris, dirt falls downward and you can clean that later. You wanna start in the back of the room and move your way to the front. And the strategy for vacuuming is first and foremost, make sure you have a clean vacuum because that is going to have the most suction power and work the best. And in the room, you wanna start from the back to the front and first go horizontally across the room and then vertically. So by doing that cross hatch, it's going to pick up the maximum amount of dirt. And she also says to go slower than you think. The big mistake people make is they're going too fast as they're vacuuming. And the slower you go, the more you're gonna pick up, the deeper clean you're gonna get. So those are some of my favorite cleaning tips I've come across 
from the pros and really some of these are game changers for me. And I will have everyone linked down in the description box so go follow them over on TikTok and also follow me. I post on there almost every day and don't forget to share this video for a chance to win a $300 Amazon gift card. I will put all of the information in the description box. Thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.